Today, we're going to explore four multiplication strategies to help you solve multiplication problems. But before we jump into the fun stuff, let's talk about what multiplication really is. Multiplication is like super speedy addition. Instead of adding the same number over and over, multiplication helps us find the total or product much faster. For example, if you need to add three five times, you could write it like this. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Instead of adding three over and over again, we can simplify our work by using multiplication. When you see three plus three plus three plus three plus three, what you're really doing is adding three five times. That's where multiplication comes in. Multiplication lets us replace repeated addition with a quicker method. So instead, we can write three times five. Both give us the same answer, 15, but multiplication makes it faster and easier. One way to understand multiplication is by using equal groups. Imagine you're collecting stickers and you have four sheets of stickers. Each sheet has 12 stickers on it. They are four equal groups of 12. How many stickers do you have in total? To find the total number of stickers, we multiply four groups of 12 stickers. That gives us 48 stickers. So four times 12 equals 48. Let's try another multiplication problem using equal groups. This time, we'll use equal groups to solve for three times five. Imagine you have three bags of marbles and each bag contains five marbles. To find out how many marbles you have in total, we can think of it as making equal groups. Now let's fill each of the three bags with five marbles. That's five marbles in the first bag, five in the second bag, and five in the third. To find the total number of marbles, we multiply three groups of five. So three times five gives us 15 marbles altogether. That's the magic of using equal groups. It helps us quickly figure out how many items we have when they're organized in groups. Now let's move on to arrays. Arrays are like organized grids that make multiplication easier to visualize and see. Let's say you have four rows of cookies and each row has four cookies. That's an array. We can make four rows of cookies by four columns of cookies. Once you have an array, you can count the number of total cookies, skip count by four, or use multiplication if you have memorized your facts. Using the array, we can determine that four times four equals 16. Let's try another problem using an array. We can use an array to solve six times three together. Imagine you're setting three rows of chairs and each row has six chairs. How many chairs are there? First, let's draw a grid. We want six rows because we're multiplying by six. That means we'll have six separate rows stacked one on top of the other. Next, we'll need to fill each of those rows with three chairs since we're multiplying by three. Let's place three chairs in the first row. Now let's do the same for each of the six rows. I'll fill in the second row with three more chairs. Great, we'll continue this process until all six rows are filled. Here's our completed array, six rows with three chairs each. To find the total number of chairs, we can either count them or multiply six by three. So six times three equals 18. Arrays help us visualize multiplication and make it easy to see how the numbers work together. Now let's talk about repeated addition. This is where you add the same number again and again. Imagine you have eight flower pots and each pot has three flowers planted in it. Instead of adding three eight times like this, we could write it out as three plus three plus three plus three plus three. 
plus three plus three plus three. That's a lot of addition. But here's the cool part. Repeated addition helps us see the connection to multiplication. We can simplify our work by using multiplication instead. Since we have eight pots with three flowers each, we can say eight times three. So eight times three equals 24. We'll look at one more example using repeated addition. Let's say you want to solve for how many total pieces of pizza are in four pizzas. You know that each pizza has eight slices. You could add eight four times like this. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Or simply multiply eight times four. We can solve this by adding eight four times. Eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24, plus eight is 32. Or if you know your facts, then you know eight times four equals 32. This shows how repeated addition can help us understand multiplication better, making it easier to find the total without doing so much adding. Last but not least, we have the number line. This strategy helps you multiply by hopping along the number line. Let's say we want to multiply five times four. Once we have a number line, we can start at zero. Then we can hop by five, four times. One, two, three, four. Where do we land? On 20. So five times four equals 20. Let's try another example. Imagine multiplying two times seven. We can hop by two seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hops. Where do we land? On 14. So two times seven equals 14. All right, now let's wrap things up by using all four strategies we've learned to solve the same multiplication problem. Let's say we need to solve four times six. We'll look at it through arrays, equal groups, repeated addition, and a number line. First, we'll use equal groups. Imagine four groups. I'm going to use circles this time. And each group has six items. When we count all the stars, we see there are 24 in total. So four times six equals 24. Next, we will use an array. We'll create four rows with six items in each row. We want four rows because we're multiplying by four. Now we will add six items in each row. When we count all the stars together, we still get 24. So again, four times six equals 24. Now let's use repeated addition. Instead of multiplying, we can add six four times. So it's six plus six plus six plus six. Now let's solve. Six plus six equals 12, plus six more is 18, and six more is 24. When we add them together, we get 24. So four times six is 24 using repeated addition two. Finally, let's use the number line strategy. We start at zero and make four jumps of six spaces. One, two, three, four hops. After four jumps of six, we land on 24. So once again, four times six equals 24. As you can see, whether we use arrays, equal groups, repeated addition, or a number line, they all help us solve multiplication problems in different ways. That's all we have time for today. For more information and resources related to multiplication, visit twinkle.com. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA. For more, it's easy with Twinkle videos.